Hi there, Maria here. Today I'm going to share with you my top picks for summer florals. So I can't wait. I've got six here that are absolutely beautiful that I'm sure you're going to love. But before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community and Without further ado, let's get into this. So I'm gonna start with the most traditionally floral fragrance that I have in my collection, and that is Elisab Le Parfum EDP. This fragrance has three floral components. The first one is orange flower, second is jasmine, and third is rose. That said, to me, this smells primarily like an orange blossom balm. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. If you like white floral, and I would say it is definitely more orange blossom, orange flower, as opposed to neroli, which to me comes across a little bit more sharp. Uh, so this is very smooth. Now what makes this one gorgeous is that it also has honey and cedar. So although it's definitely a traditional white floral, um, it has just a hint of sweetness, and then that cedar kind of grounds it, gives it a little bit of spice. So if you are a fan of just straight up floral fragrances, this one is absolutely beautiful. Now, if you find that you need your florals balanced a little bit, try the Elisab uh, Le Parfum White because that one has some peach in it, a little bit of juiciness to it, uh, and a little bit sweeter. That said, this one is so classy. It's so sophisticated. Um, I can see this being a beautiful bridal fragrance as well. So I love this one. Lots of people that I know don't enjoy this one. However, I think it's absolutely gorgeous and it's also kind of sexy, even though it's classy, super sexy. This is the fragrance that I wear when I want to pretend like I've got it together. <laughs> So the next one that is quite floral in nature is Prada La Femme. Now I talk about this one as being my Miranda Priestly fragrance from Devil Wears Prada. This woman, she's rich, she knows what she's doing, she's in charge, she's in charge of a lot. And she makes sure you know it, like you're kind of quaking in your boots when you have to actually talk to this person. Even when she's in a good mood, she's terrified. That's Prada La Feb. Now what makes this such an amazing standout for summer is this one has some yellow florals in it. So it has magnolia, which is kind of a waxy floral, but then it has frangipani and alang alang, as well as tuberose and iris. Now for me, I definitely get uh, that uh, tropical uh, floral component in this one. Although I would say the thing that I smell the most is the tuberose. Um, but this is just a beautiful fragrance. There's a bit of waxiness to it. It smells tropical to me. Uh, so this is uh, Miranda Priestly when she goes on vacation. <laughs> but it's got kind of a, there's a very clean aspect to this fragrance. I find it really relaxing. I wore this when I went to Kelowna uh, and Kelowna has really hot temperatures and it's quite dry there, kind of Mediterranean type uh, climate. So I found this one to be just fantastic. Even though it's heavy in the floral department, I just thought this was beautiful. There's a bit of spice in this one. It's got beeswax and vanilla in it as well. I just think this is such a pretty fragrance. Now I get about five hours out of this one, uh, but honestly, I just think it's beautiful. I find it really relaxing. Feels a little bit tropical to me because of those yellow florals in there and I just love it. Now some people think that this one is just kind of uninteresting. I completely disagree. You know, you first get this kind of burst of floral, it comes across a little bit more tuberose to me, but then as it dries down you start to notice these, this sweetness, these spices, this waxy quality to it. I just think it's absolutely amazing. So I love this one for summer. Now the next one, I think a lot of people don't really think of it as floral, but I consider it really floral, and that is Dolce & Gabbana's Dolce Garden. Now this one has, there's coconut in it, it's a little bit syrupy, it reminds me of what like I imagine nectar to smell like. So some delicious nectar of the gods would smell like Dolce Garden. That said, this actually has quite a lot of florals that are similar to Prada La Femme. So this one has 
magnolia and neroli in the opening and then in the mid it's got frangipani and alang alang of course it's got uh, the coconut in it vanilla sandalwood but i just think but this one is just uh such such a beautiful fragrance you definitely get the coconut in this one but you can't escape the florals i think a lot of people think that this one is going to be super tropical and they're thinking coconut although the coconut is present although it's beautiful and kind of syrupy and sweet the florals definitely are very prominent in this one so i love it i think it's a great one for summer and definitely feels tropical Next floral fragrance I have for you is, of course, terracotta. We can't go through a video without talking about this one lately. You are beautiful. I am sorry to you, those of you in the States that can't get your hands on this one. It's readily available in Canada and I think in Europe as well. So I absolutely love this fragrance. Now, if you're wondering what it smells like, uh, uh, apparently it smells like the Guerlain terracotta bronzer so if you smell sniff that bronzer um that's what this fragrance smells like i haven't smelled the bronzer so i can't tell you that for sure what i do know is that i absolutely love this fragrance it's one of my favorites to wear in the summer hands down i find it so extremely relaxing uh, there's an oily quality in this one reminds me a little bit of moroccan oil but it could almost smell, I think, like popcorn to some people. There's a bit of a butteriness to it. Now, the floral star of this show, I would say, is the is the tiara flower. However, this also has jasmine, ylang ylang, and orange blossom. I definitely get more of the tiara than any other flower, but it's so well blended. This one, of course, has the coconut in it as well. There's some vanilla. I just think that this is beautiful. It's a very warm fragrance. I think of being uh, in some warm, beautiful, tropical type climate when I put this one on. The nice thing about terracotta is that it's actually a very sophisticated smelling fragrance. I can see some people finding this one maybe a little bit mature. Um, that said, give it a try if you can, because I think that this one is just absolutely gorgeous. Some people feel that the longevity isn't great. However, I get at least five hours out of it, uh, sometimes six. It has beautiful projection. Uh, it just, it's just, it's just beautiful. Out of all the kind of beachy type fragrances, like I think of um, Bronze Goddess, which is so hyper popular, this is significantly nicer. So Bronze Goddess to me, it's definitely got a lot of floral in it. Um, and the tiara really comes out, but to me it's just a little bit scratchy. It kind of makes my stomach feel a little sick and I find it cloying in the heat. This one has the tiara, it has the coconut, it has the uh, other kind of tropical florals, and yet I don't ever find this one cloying. So terracotta is, is by far my favorite uh, kind of beachy uh, type fragrance for the summer. Next fantastic floral fragrance for summer is La Vie Belle Le Clat. Now we all know La Vie Belle, some hate it, some love it, but um, what kind of makes it stand out is its praline note along with some white florals uh, that gives it kind of a gourmand uh, sense to it. This one is missing that praline. There's a beautiful opening of bergamot and orange in this one, which really kind of makes it juicy and citrusy. And I get that orange uh, bergamot combination, especially the bergamot, kind of coming throughout the whole entire experience of the fragrance. For florals, the opening of this one has freesia. The middle florals are orange blossom, white flowers, and iris. So this one, uh, definitely get that orange blossom, white floral combination. Uh, but I do notice that powdery kind of iris feel in this one. Um, this one is a, a powerhouse as well. Like it doesn't last as long as Le Vie Belle, which, you know, really you get 10 plus hours with Le Vie Belle. At least I do. This one gives you seven hours, I would say. So still a long lasting fragrance. You can wear it all day. It's beautifully balanced with that citrus and just a happy cheery perfume. Uh, I would say that this one is a better signature scent fragrance than La Vie Belle because it's not got that praline. So, you know, it's a little bit more wearable day to day. Um, this one is really pretty. You should check it out. I think that there's um, 
an EDT version, but this one is the EDP and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I thought I should include one rose centric fragrance for summer and my pick would be Flora Botanica. I've talked about this a lot. Now the thing is is that for a long time it was like hard to come by. Now on FragranceNet you can get like every size at least recently when I checked. So I'm gonna leave that. I always leave the dupe link by Perfume Parlor as well, but this one is beautiful. All the links will be down below. I love this one. It opens up with mint. Uh, there's there's a bit of uh, cannabis in this. I notice the mint. I don't notice the cannabis. The cannabis just ac comes across as kind of clean lawn clipping smell. So this one's definitely green. It smells like you go outside and go and can smell all the beautiful greenness outside. But then comes this beautiful rose. Uh, I think there's carnation in this one too, but maybe not. But it smells like this beautiful green, uh, green kind of aura all around. But then you go in to sniff this beautiful, young, dewy rose. This is gorgeous. I love it. And this lasts forever. Now, what makes this so fantastic during the spring and summer is that green minty quality really keeps it smelling fresh and light and airy. So I love this fragrance. I don't find it cloying. However, some people say that if you overspray with this one, you're gonna smell a little bit more of that cannabis like coming through loud and clear. I haven't noticed that yet, but um, this one is gonna be one of the main ones I'm gonna wear this summer. Out of all of these, the two that I foresee wearing the most is of course Terracotta, huge, huge fan, and Flora Botanica. Now Terracotta is an EDT, so I actually find it long lasting considering that. It's not as long lasting, but I don't really care. It's rather affordable, like I think it's $105 for a 100 ml bottle, so I don't consider that crazy. But these two fragrances are going to definitely be the ones that I'm rocking the most this summer. The other ones are beautiful as well. Tell me what your favorite floral fragrance is for summer. I would say as far as uh, kind of uh, wedding type fragrances, either of these, if you're a floral girl, and you want a beautiful wedding fragrance, either La Vie et Belle La or uh, Le Parfum by Elisab. Both of these are absolute beautiful choices for weddings. And yeah, they're all gorgeous, relaxing, floral, romantic fragrances. And yeah, I, I, I love them all. So let me know what is your favorite pick for summer. Have you tried these? Is there one that you like out of this? If you hate them, put that in the comments. We want to know why you don't like it. You know, just because I'm on YouTube doing reviews doesn't mean that I'm the expert. I'm just like all of you that smell these fragrances and I get what I get out of them. Some people are going to experience them differently. I have lots of friends that don't like these or don't like certain ones of these. Uh, and I think that that's really important uh, that you guys are voicing your thoughts on which ones you like and which ones you don't. Tell us why, because that just helps when someone's needing to blind buy for whatever reason and they don't know what quite what to pick. If they only hear my thoughts and I'm raving about something, they're not necessarily gonna get a full picture. So if you ever disagree with me, I want you to know that I never mind if you put that in the comments because it's actually just helpful, as long as it's respectful and not weird. <laughs> of course, you're allowed to be weird too, just respectful just respectful. Anyway, that is it. I hope that you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.